A lot of people right here in San Diego are also reacting to the Chauvin verdict tonight and Fox 5's Jamie Chambers is live for us downtown where a demonstration is planned this evening. Jamie. Yeah, Andrew, the demonstration is planned to start around six o'clock marching from B Street to Waterfront Park. So we will be looking for that. One of the folks that has been watching the Chauvin case just as closely as possible is local activist Reverend Shane Harris. He went to Minneapolis. He protested there, uh, met with the Floyd family. And today we watched him react to the verdict live. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April 2021 at 1 44 p.m. He's going to prison. <clears throat> We're adjourned. I think that this is a significant uh, advancement in the fight that we've been fighting for a number of years um, in the fight for reimagining policing, and it's certainly a good start. However, we have more work to do. As a black man, it feels like for once in my life that we can get justice that things potentially are changing. Um, that the next time a cop pulls me over, that maybe they'll think about what they're getting ready or they're doing at the moment. Now, Harris is expected to head back to Minneapolis to meet with the Floyd family again. Their uh, rally is expected to start shortly here, and we are expecting to see that BLM rally heading to Waterfront Park right around 7 o'clock. That's the very latest from downtown. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. All right, Jamie, thank you. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria also spoke out today saying that the jury has rightly called this case what it was, murder. Derek Chauvin's actions were an abuse of power and a disservice to those who nobly protect and serve our communities, and now he will be held accountable. He also encouraged San Diegans to remember Floyd's life peacefully. Meanwhile, the San Diego County Sheriff's Department also responded to the verdict, saying that we ask that anyone who's interested in expressing their emotions related to this verdict to do so peacefully and with respect to other people and property. They also added if you are participating in a demonstration and are asked by law enforcement to leave an area to please do so.